And if you got the guts to stay. <laughs> Good morning. Today is day 67. It's raining. No one's mowing in the next 10 minutes. The only thing that can distract us is the phone and the dogs. So I might tie them up <laughs> and throw away the phone. How about that? Do we dare even try to film? Yes, let's dare. Okay, so today we're going to what are we going to do? Use chalk pastels. All right, so let me get my stuff together and I will be right back. Here's what I'm going to use so far. I pulled out a piece of paper from this notebook, Canson Mixed Media 98 pounds 7 by 10 paper, and as I was flipping through to find a paper, I found this sheet, which I had thrown paint on that I had left over on my palette or my mat or whatever, and I just Threw it on there and I really like this so this is inspiring me today so I'm going to use this size sheet of paper I've got my soft pastels which are also I call them chalk pastels I've also got my Liquitex matte medium out because that's how I'm going to seal my soft pastels okay so I'm going to put this over off the side so that I can reference it so let's open our little soft pastel box these are just a cheap set from uh, I think Hobby Lobby the brand is Reeves. I think that's from Hobby Lobby. If not, it's from uh, Michaels. So based on this inspiration piece here, I've got some dark colored yellow looking stuff in the background here and some green here and some white. It looks like probably gesso or paint on here and some more yellow, blue and red and some orange down here. So we have all the colors we need to do this. So what I'm going to do first is take the color that is on this edge here and I'm going to use hmm, it's kind of this color so I'm just going to put some down okay then I'm going to take my matte medium and I'm going to just paint the color on and I want something under my paper to catch any excess Okay. And I'm trying to catch the little chalk that's trying to run away here before it goes anywhere and use it. And I don't care if this is solid, I because this over here was just excess paint that I just smeared on. So it's kind of um, you know sporadic where things are. So this is going to be just fine. Okay, so I've got that down. Now I'm going to clean my brush because I don't want this color mixed in and I'm going to put down my green. So now I've got green here and I'm going to put some here and here. And I might add some white into this because it's a little darker than my inspiration page, which is okay. This way your chalk won't move around after the matte medium dries. This will sit there and not move around. So this is not as limey as I want. So I may add some white. Let's see. And go ahead and just add a little bit. Too much. Too much white. So let's add some more green. All right, I'm going to add a little yellow into that. I dried it. That's giving me more what I want. That's what I should have done in the first place instead of putting the white on, but that's okay because that little rabbit trail will lead us someplace we hadn't thought or intended to go and we might like it. We might not, <laughs> but we might. Okay, I like this much better. So now I've got some yellow over here. And I think I put white down first. Put down a little bit of gesso on my mat here. Just a little bit. And pretend I'm gonna wipe off the excess of my brush. And let's just kind of wipe some of this back. Maybe I'll use my card. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay. 
So then I have a little bit of yellow. I probably should dry this, but we're not gonna. We're not gonna do it. So let's put the yellow across here, just different. It's a darker yellow than what I've got, so we may add a little something to it. Maybe a little orange, I don't know. Or no, maybe this gold again. We'll blend that in. Put a little matte medium on the tip of my brush and just seal that. I think to finish this off, I'm gonna write a little bit with my Posca pen. And I was just thinking, just play and have fun because I was looking at this thinking, I really enjoyed doing this, it was a lot of fun. So that's what I'm gonna write on here, just play and have fun. We're not going to do any more to this page. I love it. And this is the inspiration page. And eventually I'll do something with this. This was just scrap paint. Just extra paint on my brush. Okay, let me get another sheet of paper. We'll do another one. We'll, we'll go without an inspiration page this time. Okay, so let's just play and have fun. <laughs> let's just do something, you know, just for the fun of it.
All right, I've got some of my pinky papers here, a few scraps from something else we did, the spray inks, I think. And these came out of my tote behind me. And I'm just going to see if there's anything on here I can use because I want to put something in the center here. And I was thinking of using this. Let me go ahead and just cut up another large circle. Okay, I like that. So now this one, I could put something here or I could try to fill in these. I don't know what to do with this one, so let's just go ahead and put this together. I'm gonna glue this down with uh, probably a glue stick. Okay, so that's what this looks like so far. And crazily enough, I was trying to figure out what to do on this page, and I was looking at something to put here, maybe here, 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 or in these little petals, or maybe a leaf, and I thought, I don't know. So I got to this one, and I was looking, and I thought, I love this part, and it has that brown in it. And I thought that would look really cute just on the page as if it had been dropped there or something had been spilled. So I'm going to just kind of roughly tear this out. If I put it right here, that looks really cool. I like it. So I'm going to either think about putting it there or I could put it down here, like the flowers growing out of it. I'll put it along the flower, but I really think that I like it over here. So that's where I'm gonna put it. So I'm gonna glue that down and we'll be right back. All right, I've got this little guy on and then on the same scrap that I had, I pulled off this little piece because I liked it. So I put it down here in this corner and then I pulled off this little piece and put it up here and it has the purple, it kind of brings out the purple over here or they play off each other. So I really like that. And then I was looking around, I thought I wanna put something in the petals and I couldn't find anything that I really liked until I glanced over at my little pile that I've been building since we started this project. And if you guys have been following along, you'll remember that we made a project um, a few videos ago, two videos ago, three, I don't know. And I had all this leftover and I said, I'll use that for something. And I'm thinking that I will use it for this. It's it's a little stiffer because I used uh, this kind of paper and then I layered on top of it. Anyway, they, they make really good little uh, petals. So I'm thinking that I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut out a bunch of little petals and I'm going to lay it on top around this little circle here and this will be seen in the background. I'm not going to try to make each one fit perfectly. I'm just going to try to make it fit around the circle and I'm going to see if I like it. If I don't, then I'll have some petals cut out that are rough petals for another project like this one I don't think I can use well I can use it for the tiny one up here maybe something like that so I'm gonna do that off camera let me show you what I got before I put them down I think I'm gonna go ahead and use these and I'm gonna put this layer down here and they're wonky because I left them in their natural state all I did was cut them enough so that they could fit and this little guy here didn't work up there as well as I liked him to, so I put him down here as a leaf, and then there's another one that just happened. The writing's upside down, but I don't care. So I like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it down, and then if I need to add a few more, I'll add a few more in between. So when I come back, these will be applied. All right, I've got them glued down. They need to stick a little bit more because they are a little thicker. I did use Aileen's Tacky Glue instead of my glue stick. And I love this. And I also took the center out of this book page here that I showed you earlier and put that in the center there. I like that look really well. So I think I'm done with this one. I don't know if I want to do anything here. I'm going to think on it. Probably not. I think it's got enough. I'm not going to add more petals here because I want what I did originally to show through. It just It's just something funky, you know? I love funky flowers. You know how I am. If you've been here any length of time, you know how I am. But if you haven't, you'll learn if you stick around, if you got the guts to stay. <laughs> okay, so this one, uh, I think what I want to do is take some of these red dots here and cut circles out of that and put them on my page here. So I'm going to um, just go around my paper here. There's the dogs running up and down the stairs. <laughs> stick them there. Let's try one more before I go off camera and finish because I want to see if I like it. And we'll, we may not. 
Now that might look good in the center. Ooh, I kind of like that. Oh, I don't know now. Okay, I'm going to go cut my circles because we're using them somehow. I'll make it work, but um, I'm not real sure yet. So let me cut them and then I'll come back and we'll discuss. Okay, I tried these all the which away, but what I really love is this. So that's what I'm going to do with these little circles. I'm going to put three on the page and then maybe I'll put something else here. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But we're doing this first, and I'll be back when it's done. All right, I guess that wasn't much discussing, was it? It was just me telling you what I was going to do, but that's kind of how it works around here. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to put something else on here, but I don't know what. So I was looking at my different options. That'd be kind of cool. Just, just a little strand of something going that way. I like that. And I also thought about cutting these out or tearing these out and putting a few little red stripes on the page. That might be pretty. I'm going to do this. I like this too much. We've already used the red here, so I'm going to I'm going to do this. That's where we're at on this page. It needs a little something else, maybe a little black. I just put a little dab of black paint in this little container and I added a little bit of water and whatever happens happens. I love that. I love how that happened. Let's take a look. I love him. I think he's cute and I like that I was able to kind of create a little bit of a similarity from the inspiration page that I used at the beginning of the video. So I like this a lot. Then this guy. I really love this one. I don't know which one's my favorite yet. Then we have this one. So here's the last one. I have to say, which one is my favorite? Ah, oh, it's a tie between these two. I really can't decide because I love them both. So we're going to call this a tie. I love you too, little guy. So none of this would have happened if we hadn't played with chalk pastels. Just seen what we could do and enjoyed the process. So I will see you tomorrow for prompt number what, 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 68. All right, guys, have a great whatever it is, and I'll see you later. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.